Okay, so um, I've been messing around with my uh, Instapot with this nice steamer basket insert. And I'm going to show you a quick recipe that I've been making. I really like it. Um, and it's healthy, it's good for you, it's zero fat. And what I'm using is this uh, beef chip steak. So this is just beef steak that's been cut really thin. And you can see I'm starting to prep it already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in just some um, plain tomato paste. Okay, so it's just tomato paste spread on the inside. So this is going to be like a brujol sort of. So I'm going to put that on the inside. Okay. So clean that out real good. Make sure they're all, all done nice there. Okay, next. I'm going to go ahead and put in some peppers. So I have some red. These are just these little miniature peppers. I'm just going to throw a few on here. Some red ones like that, and then I'm gonna do some of the orange ones. Okay, just like that. Okay, next I have some uh, basil that I took off my own plant here. Okay, and I have my scissors. So actually, first I'm gonna do some of this. This is a uh, Kinder's the blend. Okay, so you get this at Sam's Club or wherever, Walmart, I guess. It's just salt, pepper, and garlic if you don't have the blend. I'll sprinkle some of that in the middle for flavoring. Okay, then I just take my scissors, go right down the line like this, add a little fresh basil in here. And this is going to be like a 15 minute lunch. <laughs> That's actually really quick. And I'm going to pair this with some. Today, I can do it with steamed onions or something like that, but today what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pair it with some cauliflower rice, which I'll show you that too. So next I'm going to take some green onion. I've already got this cleaned up, and I don't need the whole onion, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this right down here. So you can see all these different flavors in there. Right down the line. Okay, so then I want to go ahead and just sort of roll it. I'm not going to roll it really, I'm just going to fold it a couple times. That's one of them. Okay, so there's one set right there. You notice I have one big one, one little one, because I'm trying to stay at a certain amount of meat. So it's about 100 grams per serving of meat. Okay. A little extra seasoning on the top. Okay, now I'm going to go back over here to my pressure cooker. I want to add in two cups of water with the insert. This is just that steamer basket I bought it on Amazon. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and set the set the meat in. So I'm going to put these two on the left, these two on the right. This way I don't mess up my portions. So you see that, nothing fancy. Uh, pressure for six minutes and then start. Okay, so next I wanna prep my cauliflower rice, super easy. What I've done here is I've actually cleaned my cauliflower. Now I use living water from Valara. If you'd like to get one yourself, you can actually just inbox me and I'll tell you how. Or maybe I'll put a link in the description. You go to valara.com forward slash PRO, like pro. V is in victory, B is in boy, the number three, think global. So Valara, V-O-L-L-A-R-A. But anyway, it's a little commercial for that. So what I did was I washed this first, rinsed it in acid water, and then I put it in alkaline water. So I rinsed it first, soaked it in acid water for a little bit, changed the water, put in uh, alkaline water. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this to my top basket. Just like that, okay? And I'm not going to season this at this time um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in a minute how I season it on the outside. So I'm going to put this like this, put it back in the bowl. Okay, so I um, went ahead, did six minutes. I've done a quick release now, and it's just now at the end of the quick release. As you can see at the top here, the button is up. It's releasing. I'm going to give it a jiggle, and it drops down. And let's take a look at what we got. Uh, there we go. 
So you can see they're very nicely cooked, but I'm gonna leave them in. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in the cauliflower. Put it on. Okay, and I'm gonna come back over, I'm gonna go pressure now for one minute. Okay, so now we went for exactly one minute. Just so you can see now it says off. I just did a quick release on my pressure, that just dropped. We're gonna take a look at it and see how it looks. See, there's that cauliflower. Now it's amazing that in one minute, I've cooked the cauliflower, okay? So what I did in here, just so you know, is I put, um, let's see, I put a package of chicken base, so you can just get some chicken base, put a little bit of that in there. A Couple drops of soy for the uh, salt and flavor and some of this here, this is a cilantro lime sauce that I got. Mixed it in here, because I want to get some flavor on the cauliflower. Okay, so I just pour it right in. First, kind of break it up. And then you can back and see if this here will mash a little bit. Some people like to throw it into a blender, you could do that, or a food processor. But this is just as good for me. And then I can do a little more, you watch it. Chop that up. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and plate this. I have my two plates. So give me my other plate. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll divide this out between the two plates. A little bit of cauliflower. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put these on top. Remember I did the right side, just like that. And then the left side. Just one big one, one little one. And then just for a little extra flavor, I'm gonna put a little of this sauce right on top. Just a couple drops. And there you have it. So it's kind of a Brajol, but it's more of a Southwest style, so it's gonna be really good. Anyways, there you go. Just want to share. Hey, so if you like that video, remember to hit like and subscribe below um, for new content as we begin to put it out. And um, this is also really good for if you do my diet plan. Uh, in the link below, you'll see a link to my HCG uh, diet plan. I've been, um, you know, I used to be 315 pounds. I'm now in the 180, 190 range. So anyways, if you like that, you can go ahead and look at my link in the description below to my ECG weight loss class. Uh, for more recipes just like this one, um, but this one here is really focused on the Instapot. And, um, and so any of my recipes that are in my class can also be used uh, with these two, two steamer inserts. It's great. Um, you know, I, I put extra things in that aren't on the HCG plan, but this is like, you know, I've been on this you know, plan for a couple of years and I just stay in maintenance. Um, so this is more if you're in maintenance or if you're on round three or four uh, of phase two, um, this is a great recipe for that. So anyways, um, like I said, click the link uh, for the HCG weight loss class in there. It's very affordable. Uh, I coach you through the whole process with tons of recipes and um, you too can lose weight if, uh, if you choose.